Today's challenges are incredibly complex. Globalization has intertwined them across fields and nations. How do we deal with that? How do we bring forward new ideas that have both enough depth and breadth to address these issues? Since 2016, the World Economic Forum has convened the Network of Global Future Councils, bringing together top experts from diverse sectors and backgrounds into thematic councils, linking them virtually and gathering them once a year in Dubai. Their cross-disciplinary collaboration aims to address the world's most pressing challenges. For example, the Council on the New Agenda for Education and Skills provided insights on how to support educators in equipping students and professionals with future-proof skills, ensuring they are prepared for the evolving demands of the workforce. In 2020, the Council's thought leadership contributed key ideas to the creation of the Reskilling Revolution. To empower one billion people with better education, skills and economic opportunity by 2030. By 2024, over 350 organisations were involved and their work had reached 680 million people. The Council on the New Agenda for Work, Wages and Job Creation focused on ensuring people have better jobs in the evolving economy. Its peer-reviewed Good Work Framework has been endorsed by unions, policymakers and civil society organisations. It identified concrete ways employers can create a just, fair, inclusive and fulfilling workplace for their employees. 30 global companies have already pledged to use the framework, impacting over 2 million workers. New technologies will not just impact education and work, they will profoundly impact manufacturing, a sector responsible for 16% of the world's GDP. Yet, 40% of companies in this field are not keeping up when it comes to digitizing their operations. The Council on Advanced Manufacturing and Production provided guidance on the pioneering uses of technology in this sector in order to design more resilient and sustainable value chains. In 2020, it helped launch the Forum's Global Lighthouse Network to recognize champions in this field and promote their best practices. By 2024, this community boasted 170 members around the globe. The Council's insights are now taught in universities, including MIT, EPFL, Wharton and Cambridge. But it's not just businesses that need to adapt. Governments might need to adjust, in line with the new pace of technological development. The Council on Agile Governance supported governments striving to be more adaptive, inclusive and sustainable. It collaborated with partners to recognize and promote pioneers in this area through the Agile 50 list. Designed toolkits for regulators, drawing on the latest research and best practices. And supported the launch of the Agile Nations Intergovernmental Regulatory Cooperation Network. This network, an independent entity, fostered cooperation on innovative regulatory practice between seven governments in areas as varied as finance, healthcare, manufacturing and autonomous mobility. Governments need legitimacy to operate effectively and enact crucial reforms, making the continued improvement and protection of our institutions a high priority. Today, the cost of corruption amounts to 5% of global GDP, with over 1 trillion US dollars paid in bribes every year. Tackling this effectively in any sector requires collective action. The Council on Transparency and Anti-Corruption launched the Agenda for Business Integrity to strengthen companies' resilience against corruption. It has also established the Gatekeepers Unifying Framework, a tool to prevent or interrupt illicit financial flows. The Council has also supported the Partnering Against Corruption Initiative, PACHI, which promotes a transparent, accountable and sustainable global business environment. With over 80 member organisations, PACHI enforces zero-tolerance policies 
to ensure compliance with laws and maximum transparency across their people, suppliers and partners. Many of the Global Future Councils also aim to safeguard and improve life on our planet. Air pollutants account for an estimated 7 million deaths every year. And children are especially vulnerable. The Council on Clean Air supported the launch of the Alliance for Clean Air at COP26, tackling air pollution across the value chain, organising workshops and enabling solutions trading. Their work contributed to the first science-based guide for air pollution monitoring, now adopted as a mandatory AU standard. All Global Future Councils are involved in boundary-pushing work in their respective fields. Discover their innovative thinking and groundbreaking initiatives, contributing to a more resilient, inclusive and sustainable future. <laughs>